Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow, and I'm sitting in a Mercedes MG GLC 63S. Next to me is a BMW X3M. Next to that is an Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. And next to that is the recently revised Jaguar F Pace SVR. And we are going to have a drag race. So let me tell you about this car. It has a 4 litre twin turbo V8. It puts out 510 horsepower, 700 Newton meters of torque, drives all four wheels for a nine speed multi clutch automatic gearbox with launch control that bmw it has a three liter twin turbo straight six with 510 horsepower but 650 newton meters of torque it drives all four wheels via an eight speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter but also launch control that stelvio it has a 2.9 liter twin turbo v6 with 510 horsepower there's a theme here isn't there <laughs> and 600 newton meters of torque so a little less torque than these two german cars it drives all four wheels via an eight-speed automatic gearbox with no launch control. And finally, we come to the Jaguar, which has a five-litre supercharged V8 with 550 horsepower, so the most horsepower here, and 700 newton meters of torque. It also has an eight-speed automatic gearbox without launch control. In terms of weight, the BMW and the Jaguar weigh over two tonnes. This Mercedes weighs under two tonnes, and that Alfa is the lightest at under 1,900 kilos. In terms of pricing, this GLC, when it was new, in 2019 it cost 75,000 pounds however now you can only get in the top spec night version so the GLC 63S now starts from 93,000 pounds which is just nuts the BMW X3 M competition starts at 85,000 pounds the Alfa Romeo Stavro Quadrifoglio 75,000 pounds and the Jaguar SVR 78,000 pounds there's all your stats if you want to just compare the cars side by side well, I'm going to pause the video for a second now We're back in the video. Now, I just want to say a big thanks to the guys at Yum Cars. Look, it's an air freshener there because they do all kind of car care stuff. Now, if you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can go to their YouTube channel and they do all various videos on how to clean your car, look after it, detail it, and all that kind of stuff. So go give them a follow over there to say thank you for lending us this GLC because without it, we wouldn't have a complete drag race right now. We'd only have three in the field. Also, without the person in the BMW, we wouldn't have such a fun drag race because it is my good friend, Yanni, from Yanni Mai's. Hi, Yanni, how are you, mate? Oh, there he is. Hi, Matt. I'm sorry, you have to just wait there in silence where I just witter on about all the car stats, don't you? The GoPro's saying 14.37 minutes, mate. That's how long I've been sitting waiting for you. And you're probably wondering, wait a minute, the video timer isn't saying that. It's because I was busy faffing around getting the stats for the cars on my, my new Samsung Fold. We look, it's a, it's, it's a fan that folds. How are you feeling today, Yanni? Are you feeling confident? Do you think you're going to win? You know that BMW is quick, right? But so is this Mercedes and the Alpha and the Jaguar. What do you reckon is going to happen? I'm disappointed that you're in a satin grey car and I'm not in it. It looks like it's wrapped and I'm in this BM, even though the X3M comp is a proper car. Yeah, because you had an X4M comp, which you forgot that you actually owned, didn't you? No. <laughs> you totally forgot that you owned it. You did. I remember having a conversation with you about what cars you could bring to a drag race and you listed off a load of cars and you never mentioned the BMW until I pointed out to you that you owned one and you were like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Don't you remember that? It wasn't that I forgot about it. It was just like, I get one of my staff to use it and it was just out of sight, out of mind. He forgot about it. Anyway, let's see if it'll be memorable today. And as ever, before we race, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Anyway, that's enough of that nonsense. Let's do it. Let's race. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Before we drag race, we are going to do the customary CarWow sound check. So let's find out which of these cars sounds the best. I'm going to start off with this. Twin turbo V8, with a little bit of a soft limiter there at four and a half. Yeah. It's fairly fruity. Go on, Jan, rev up your BMW. It's all engine, no exhaust. Are you in sports mode? Sport plus everything. Oh dear, I think you're about to be humiliated by the next car, the Alpha, because I know that sounds awesome. Go on, rev up the Alpha. <laughs> Do you know what? That is louder than your BMW, even though your BMW is closer to me. I can hear that a lot more. It's how fast the car goes, not how loud the exhaust is, mate. I'm not sure that's entirely true. I think the exhaust plays a big part of these things, yeah? Finally, let's hear that jag. I reckon that's going to sound epic as well. 
Wait a minute, do I detect a soft limiter on that Jaguar? Yeah, it's got a bit of a softie. Oh, we don't want a bit of a softie. No one does. Anyway, let's hope it's not a softie when it races. Let's see if it can get hard. Well, I lost this one anyway. <laughs> do you have a problem with a softie? Rock hard, mate, always. Just because you've had a kid now, all of a sudden you- Got your thing works. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone got dropped. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I enjoyed it though. That's the end of a bird. Good job this car is owned by a detailing guy because he's gonna have to detail away quite a lot of blood and guts. Do you wanna see it? I'm gonna let you see it. If you're squeamish, look away now. There was a bird there once. Thankfully it didn't go through it, otherwise it'd have gone straight into my face. Nice. Launch control was weird. I let off, it seemed like it went too early. And then I was like, did I jump the start? Did I not jump the start? It just felt very slow. I think we'll take it as red that you jumped the start because that's just what normally happens. So I've got a new nickname for Yanni. I told him last night when I was texting him. What's your nickname, Yanni? Pull over. It's not pull over, it's jumper. Are we doing this again or not? I don't know, I did really well. Oh, and I'm quite frightened of killing more birds. Yeah, let's do it again. Three, two, one. Done it again. I think I might have jumped a little bit though. That launch proper. Ah, oh, this is quick though, this. wildlife didn't kill anything that time apart from a bmw x3m and alfa romeo stelvio quadrifoglio and a jaguar svr what happened then jan launch control engaged so obviously massive jump on the other two but you were gone and you don't think i jumped i think your new nickname should be jumper okay quick one though can you just check the replay to make sure i didn't jump <laughs> Okay, Stuart's inquiry, I did jump. One more time. Jumper, jumper, jumper. Yeah, jumper. <laughs> I knew that was gonna come back and bite me on the ass. <laughs> oh God, he's gonna be unbearable. Yeah, are you having trouble launching that car? First time it didn't launch properly, second time launched properly. But they still beat it, although I did jump slightly. Would you like to drive this one? Lego. God, he's got... He has to move the seat so far back because of his massive belly. He's going to say that he has to have the seat sat so far forward because of his short legs. <laughs> We're so mean to each other. How close does he sit to the steering wheel? I quite like this red interior. It's like sitting in a woman's thingy. Oh, this is nice. He's got no chance. No chance. Three, two, one. Oh, neck and neck. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shows it's the car, not the driver. Come on, BMW! This is so close. This is a good race. I'm pulling it back a bit. Can I get him? Dag never. I don't know what went all kind of American southwest from the midlands in the uk bmw fanboys are not going to be happy are they they thought maybe with you driving they might have had the edge no it's the car in it it's not the driver <laughs> that's exactly what i said <laughs> so what happened stavio did you beat the jaguar or not not that time apparently supercharged is better than turbocharged right now but my gosh that was a very close race wasn't it no one's replying no one cares let's do the bit so then what exactly happened? Well, the Mercedes won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.9 seconds. The BMW was second with a time of 12 seconds, just beating the Jaguar, which was third, also in 12 seconds. The Alfa was last, finishing in 12.1 seconds. 
Now we're going for a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Car's in the comfy, most relaxed settings, automatic mode for the gearbox. I'm gonna count it in. Ready guys, get level. And it's three, two, one, go. God, it took ages to kick down. Can I catch the Mercedes at the half mile? No. 120, 130. Can I catch the Mercedes to the mile? 140. comes the mile. I think the Mercedes has got that. Okay, Yanni, did you beat the Jaguar to the half mile and the mile? I did, I did, I did. My next question is to the Alpha. What were you doing? This took an age to kick down. I think it's just better at relaxing than your cars are. Maybe because it's Italian, not German or British. Yeah, the British should be too like tense to relax properly and the German, they never let their guard down. Whereas Italians, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Italians, you've got loads of style, you're cool. Let's do another race before I offend some other nations. Same thing again, apart from cars in their sportiest settings and manual mode for the gearboxes. So we are changing gears ourselves and we're going to do it from third gear. Get level, Yanni, come on. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Yanni, did you cock something up then? Yeah, first gear change was cocked. Let's back out of it. The man cocked it up. Let's give him another go. Do you know why? Because it was in. It was only when you said put it into manual, and I flicked it into manual, and by then it was like push up, push up, and I was like, oh yeah. Shit. In other words, you cocked up, right? But it didn't jump. So maybe your new name is Cocker. <laughs> He's gonna punch me. <laughs> I'm not getting out of this car afterwards. Right, let's try that again. Third gear, manual. 50 miles an hour. You got it, Yanni? Have you done it before? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's close, this. Oh, I think the BMW is going to take it. Here we go. Come on. Keep on pushing. Oh, can I beat that Jack? Ah, oh, yeah, there we are. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. When the gearbox is kicked down, it's taken out the equation. This BMW has it, but which one between the Mercedes and the Jaguar, Yanni? Did you beat it? I'll be honest, I don't know. I think I did, I'm not sure. I wasn't really looking. Let's go over to the Jaguar. Maybe they were paying attention. Jaguar? I honestly have no idea. I was too busy looking at you, looking at me. <laughs> looking at you, looking at me, ooh. <laughs> you were in the prime position, Alpha, to see what was going on in front of you, because you were last. Who won out of those two? I'm afraid I can't tell you either, but if I get to make the call, I'm going to say that I won. Okay, everyone, this is what happened. We'll just show a replay of them going through the half mile now and the four mile. There you go. One of them went. Not sure. Oh, this went overall, though, didn't it? Last challenge. Now we have a brake test from 70 miles an hour when we reach the line for an emergency stop. See which car will stop in the shortest distance. Normally, you guys get to watch Yanni staring at me, looking all kind of aggressive. So I wonder what look is on my face when I'm braking, because you're normally looking at his face. But let's see. Am I as aggressive as he is. Anyway, 70 miles an hour, here comes the line. What the f Okay, that was insane. This just stopped so blooming hard. Whereas yours, Yanni, not so good. Though, I haven't noticed that your car's on winter tyres. So that probably didn't help it. Yeah, failed. Jaguar, second place. Alpha, third, and Sadie's last in that one. Win the drag race though, right? Of course. And we've got a little bit of roadkill as well. If you enjoyed the video, if you did, please give it a like. If you want to check out Yanni's channel, link's in the description below. It's uh, Yanni Mize. As ever, make sure you're following us on Instagram. And I think that's enough pitches and salesy stuff from me. So I'll see you next time.